Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another garden project. So today we are going to be cleaning up the garden for spring. This may be a multiple day video because there's a lot to do. Sometimes cleaning out the lambs ear takes three or four days on its own. So I'm going to start by kind of skipping the lambs ear and just going through the garden and cutting back annuals or perennials that need to be cut back, things like the gara or the foxtail ferns that are starting to green up now and therefore don't need as much frost protection in our zone. We're in Alabama zone 8B. Um, our last frost of the season is still about a month away, but we typically don't get many, maybe one or two more frosts between now and then and any frost we do have will be light. You can see there is lots of green, lots of growth. Um, so it is worth the risk to clean things out now and let them breathe a little and grow. And, uh, and the spring is coming. So we are going to go ahead and get started. This is gonna be a lot of maintenance, a lot of busy work, um, weeding, cutting things back, pulling dead out. Um, we may pull some annuals, but for the most part, I will link below. We did a fall cleanup where I pulled most of the annuals I knew wouldn't come back. So most of the annuals in the ground right now, things like our supertunias and our angelonias are tender perennials in my zone. And that means they will come back if we have a mild enough season. We had a really hard freeze. So I don't know that any of those things will come back, but y'all, we're gonna give them a chance. We're not at the point yet where we have to worry, so let's just keep on working. We're going to head around the corner because the gara is starting to green at the base, and so I want to cut all the dead off the top and let it start to grow. I can't wait. All right, let's go. All right, we've still got plenty to do, but we got all of our foxtail ferns cut back and you can see they are starting to grow in from where they died back in our freeze. We got all of the uh, flag iris and the last of the super tunia bubble gums from Proven Winners cut back. And you can see that while some are definitely hit by the frost, some are coming back. So hopefully, hopefully I won't have to buy all new. <laughs> the main part that is a big difference is up by the front door. Cut back the mums right here. They are starting to come back in and tulips and mascari we planted are starting to come up. So this will all be green and lush soon. I did go ahead and clean back this lamb's ear and uh, we did the gara around the corner and the strawberry plants. So still plenty of lamb's ear left to do. We will have to get after it another day, but for now we are finished. Bye y'all.